This is the most advanced and luxurious V-Class ever built. The all-new 2024 Mercedes V-Class. With lots of spock, luxurious interior and with gorgeous exterior colors this is the perfect match between comfort and style. The vans receive styling tweaks and more onboard tech. Mercedes-Benz Vans will inaugurate its van electric architecture, Van. EA, in 2026, but in the meantime, it's giving the midsize vans a refresh for 2024. The V-Class are all getting updates inside and out to remain competitive in a challenging segment. Depending on the trim level, some of the vans now have numerous three-pointed stars embedded into the grill to mirror recent cars such as the new E-Class. Speaking of the grill, it now has an illuminated LED contour on the V-Class, V-Class Marco Polo and EQV while the fancy V-Class exclusive model gets a classic hood mounted upright star for the first time. Multi-beam LED headlights come either as standard or optional, while the LED taillights have been given an update with a darkened contour. Go for one of the V-Class models or the EQV and you get chrome trim with Mercedes-Benz lettering. Rounding off the changes on the outside are five new paint colors and several aero-optimized alloy wheels in 17, 18, and 19-inch sizes. Stepping inside, all vans get the latest MBUX infotainment system. The Vito, eVito now has a 5.5-inch color instrument cluster and a 10.25-inch touchscreen whereas the V-Class, V-Class exclusive boast a pair of 12.3-inch displays. An updated center console accommodates an optional wireless charging pad, and there are new goodies such as a heated steering wheel, keyless start, 64-color ambient lighting, and dimmed rear lighting for night driving. Going forward, Mercedes is fitting the V-Class and V-Class exclusive with a left-side sliding door as standard while an electric parking brake is also standard on the commercial versions equipped with the automatic transmission. Elsewhere. Active Brake Assist now also works in an intersection and you can order adaptive multi-beam LED headlights with 84 individually adjustable LEDs. The midsize vans get a revamped parking package with a 360-degree camera and a trailer maneuvering assistant for vehicles fitted with a trailer hitch and automatic transmission. The German luxury brand describes the updated vans as an intermediate step on the road to full electrification. Mercedes-Benz Vans Project CVs will account for more than half of total sales by the end of the decade. Renault has officially launched the new Traffic Space Class. The utility model thus benefits from a version dedicated to transporting people in premium conditions. The French manufacturer operated a series of aesthetic changes at the level of the bumper and full LED headlights with light signature in the shape of the letter C. Also, the Traffic Combi and Space Class rely on an 8-inch diagonal screen and the Renault EasyLink multimedia system, which is compatible with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay systems. Also, the two models benefit from electrically folding mirrors and 17-inch wheels, and the variety of body colors has increased to 7 with the introduction of the new shade Rouge Carmen. Meanwhile, the top variant offers 170 horsepower and is only available with the EDC automatic gearbox. Last but not least, the traffic facelift has also received an update for the assistance systems. The range now includes adaptive cruise control, active intercity emergency braking, lane departure warning or blind spot warning systems. Mercedes has the V-Class and elegance on its side. Why wouldn't Renault also have a utility vehicle converted into a limousine by its own factory people? The French manufacturer has just launched the Traffic Space Class, a new variant of its utility model, so popular for businesses in Europe. The new Traffic Space Class can carry up to nine passengers in premium conditions and benefits from a modularity that can radically transform the passenger compartment. The interior is customized with aluminum inserts, velour floor mats, leather-wrapped steering wheel and elements with a gloss black finish. All seats are, of course, covered in leather.
Renault claims that 50 interior configurations are possible, from just two seats to nine. There will also be a variant with six opposite seats and 26 centimeters of legroom. The signature version, from two to seven seats, can also offer a folding table and more storage spaces. There is also the escapade version, which is available with two or eight seats, aimed at the adventurous. It can also guarantee two berths with a length of 1.95 meters. In terms of technology, the Renault Traffic Space Class is available with two multimedia systems, a reversing camera, Android Auto, Bluetooth and MP3 connection, automatic air conditioning, LED reading lights, several 12 volts and 220 volts or USB sockets. The exterior has also received a number of interesting changes. Traffic Space Class gets L-shaped LED daytime running lights, 17-inch diamond look wheels, black trim, smoked windows and a comet gray body paint. Renault claims that the new Traffic Space Class is aimed at travel agencies, hotels, transport or taxi companies, as well as private customers with large families. The base variant has a 110 bhp unit with a manual gearbox, while the intermediate 150 bhp variant, 5 bhp more than before, can be ordered with a manual or automatic EDC transmission. The new Renault Traffic Space Class will be offered with the 1.6 DCI engine with two power levels, 125 and 145 horses, both connected to a six-speed manual transmission. We've literally seen the next-generation Volkswagen T7 in development for years. The wait is mostly over, as VW's much-loved all-purpose van for everything from contractors to adventurous campers is now official. That is, it's official in multivan form, anyway. The transporter is still waiting in the wings, but for now, say hello to the 2022 VW T7 multivan. Should electricity not be your thing, VW continues to offer pure internal combustion power. At launch, buyers can choose between either a turbocharged 1.5-liter TSI mill making 134 horsepower, 100 kilowatts, or a beefier turbocharged 2.0-liter TSI engine good for 201 horsepower, 150 kilowatts. Both engines burn gasoline. Though a four-cylinder turbo diesel with 148 horsepower, 110 kilowatts, will be offered next year. Regardless of the engine, a seven-speed DSG is the only transmission available. Of course, the point of the Multivan is to be multi-purpose, and on that front the T7 doesn't disappoint. It's slightly larger overall compared to its predecessor, with an extended version offering 143 cubic feet, 4,053 liters, of luggage space. You've likely already heard about the new modular seating system with individual rear seats that are adjustable and easily removable. They are part of a fresh interior that VW says is lounge-like, with second-row seats able to rotate 180 degrees to form a conference arrangement. A multi-function table is also modular, sliding fore and aft to wherever it's needed. Overhead. Passengers will appreciate an optional panoramic glass roof, while driver and front seat passenger will appreciate a standard issue digital makeover. A 10.25-inch digital instrument display is joined by a 10-inch center infotainment touchscreen and if that's not enough, the driver also gets a heads-up display, a first for something from Volkswagen commercial vehicles. The cabin layout adopts a minimalist feel, however there's technology galore underneath. VW's standard infotainment suite is called Ready to Discover and includes We Connect Free, which features breakdown assistance and vehicle status among other things. We Connect Plus is available free for three years and injects all kinds of connected services such as navigation, real-time traffic reports, and more. The high-end Harman Kardon sound system packs 14 speakers and 840 watts into the multivan, and naturally, you'll find charging ports for various devices all throughout the interior. VW is keen to inject the new multivan with driver assist and safety tech. 
The automaker says there are no less than 34 various systems available to address safety, comfort, and assistance, with staples like automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist installed as standard equipment. Car 2X is a point-to-point -point communication system that lets the multivent speak to other vehicles and tech-infused infrastructure, informing the driver of potential hazards in the area. Semi-autonomous driving also comes to the Multivan with VW's IQ drive system, offering predictive cruise control and lane assist. Of course, the Multivan isn't offered in North America. Pricing and availability for other regions will be announced at a later date.